This theory explains quantum entanglement by explaining time as an emergent property. I will try and do this in an intuitive way. In this theory, the wave-particle duality of light is acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer, forming an interactive process. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms a process of continuous energy exchange that we see and feel as the flow of time itself, with the future coming into existence photon by photon. The wave-particle duality of light is continuously forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. This universal process is unfolding within an infinite number of dynamic reference frames that are continuously interacting and coming in and out of existence. Time is an emergent property within each reference frame with a timeline from the past into the future. We are able to choose the boundary condition of the reference frame we want to observe or measure, but because of the interactive nature of the wave-particle duality of light, we will form a new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment in the act of measurement. This is a totally physical and universal process. It makes no difference if we use an electronic device or the surface of the human eye. Both will collapse the wave nature of light into photons representing the future unfolding within that reference frame. Each individual observer is at the centre of their own reference frame with their own timeline or arrow of time from the past into the future. This can be seen in the way that each individual observer can look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. It is because each individual observer is in the centre of their own reference frame within this interactive process with the future coming into existence with each new photon oscillation that we have the symmetry and synchronization of quantum entanglement. When a new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment is formed it represents a new moment in time that forms a symmetry or geometry of space-time. And at that moment in time we have time symmetry between the future and the past Therefore the polarization, or spin, will be relative, or synchronized, with the new photon oscillation. In quantum mechanics, this process is represented by the quantum wave particle function expanding out as an inverse sphere. An intuitive way of thinking of an inverse sphere is that the energy source, or even the observer, is within the sphere looking out. In this theory, the polarization or spin will be the same for the whole surface of the light sphere, therefore having opposite spin on opposite sides of the light sphere. When we look at visible light in the form of a candle flame, this symmetry is distorted by turbulence in the atmosphere and by gravity. But on the International Space Station, in almost zero gravity, this spherical symmetry can be seen with the light forming a sphere that is interacting with the atmosphere on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. We are seeing the future coming into existence photon by photon within that reference frame. In this theory, quantum physics can be explained in a classical or objective way. Quantum mechanics represents the physics of time as a physical process. We know that because the universe is never at absolute zero, everything is radiating light waves continuously. We only ever see a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum that forms light, but this process of light waves coming into contact with matter and collapsing into photons must be happening all around us continuously. Because everything is radiating light, this process is universal, and we have an arrow of time for each object. Even a rose will form its own timeline from the past into the future, creating its own reference frame. The present moment has to be able to create the future, 
and this is happening at the smallest energy level with a Planck constant representing a constant of action in a process of continuous energy exchange that forms a continuous changing world of everyday life. One of the most dramatic effects of this process for us is the aging process. If we are in bright sunlight we increase the number of high level light photon oscillations or vibrations that will cascade down forming greater degrees of freedom increasing the aging process. This disorganization can also be seen as statistical entropy and is the reason why the second law of thermodynamics is linked to the arrow of time but this is not just a process of decay, for the uncertainty and probability of this process forms the possibilities and opportunities that are needed for the evolution of life and the creative process of poetry, art and music. In this theory, music can be thought of as a structure over a period of time and therefore has the characteristics similar to this process. This theory is not as far-fetched as it sounds because it is just extending the interactive process of Einstein's relativity to everyday objects and individuals. In Einstein's relativity as an object moves space and time moves relative to the energy and momentum of the object. This is in the form of time dilation and the curvature of space-time. In this theory this process starts with a photon of energy with objects and individuals forming their own future by slowing up the rate that time flows. This is what is happening when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photons coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of the artist. Therefore quantum uncertainty, known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, is the same uncertainty we have with any future event and is relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. In this theory creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.